What's going on everyone? Dirty Mofo here. Today I'm going to show you how to find any picture from any video anywhere on the internet. Just about. Um, basically it's a little thing called reverse image search. Some of you have undoubtedly heard of it, others have not. I run across a lot of people that do not know this technique, but I'm going to be delving in a little bit deeper as well. So let's say you're watching this video here and you see a particular picture that you want for a wallpaper or something like let's use this one for example. So if they don't have it in the video description, they don't have any sources or anything like that, what you want to do is take a screenshot of your desktop. That's one way to do it. So you would hit the print screen key on your keyboard and then you would go to start and type paint something like that and then paste it into here okay and then you would want to just crop out either this whole section here you could even include a little you know video overlay stuff like that um, results will vary so if you don't get results from that then maybe you want to try cropping out um, like this section here that doesn't have any other text or anything just as much of the original image as you can get into one crop or going one step farther if you want to try to find maybe the source of where this image came from then you could try cropping out like maybe the face or something like that like just this much and try doing a search with that and sometimes you can find maybe someone's using this for their avatar or whatever and you can start tracking it back from there to find out you know who the person is that made this image or whatever so anyway instead of uh, cropping it out like that uh, what I'm gonna do is just use the snipping tool so if you're in Windows 7 or above just type snipping it may even be in Vista um, and then you click new here and then your screen will change color. So what you want to do is with your cursor here, you want to select as much of the image as you want to keep. So I'm going to go, I guess, about there. And then you'll have this window pop up. Just click Save here. I'm going to save it to the desktop as this. The name doesn't really matter unless you're really getting silly with research and you want to name a bunch of different stuff. But then you just close that. And now the first site you want to go to is google.com slash images. And you see this little icon here that says search by image. You want to click that. Now you have a couple of choices. Maybe you saw a thumbnail or an image somewhere that you have the URL. You can paste that here. For instance, let's say, uh, I don't know, this here. Let's copy that. And then let's paste that into here and go search by image. And there we go. You could say all sizes to try to find all sizes of this image or look down here. Also, Google will try to suggest if, if it sees the screenshot is like from something it can recognize, a, a series, a show, something like that, it'll recommend that. So that's a good way for you to kind of like see, well, what is this from? if not just the original screenshot itself, right? So um, I'm going to go back and what we're going to do is upload an image and I'm going to browse to that image that I saved. We're going to see if it finds anything. All right, Google did not find anything for that. So first things first, it'll give you some visually similar images. So, you know, that's pretty cool for you to go through those results maybe to find similar things you'd be interested in. But if you fail with this, then you might want to try a couple of those other things I mentioned before where you try cropping out specific segments or sections of a picture. Um, but in the event that, that doesn't work, I'm going to give you another site to try. KarmaDK.com this is, it indexes images from Reddit and it will re reverse image search that database. So once again, if you have the URL, you can put that here or uh, something like this anime pic, you might have to turn the NSFW filter off. Once again, you can browse for your image and then you just wait for it to upload. 
All right, now this says no very similar images found on Reddit. So it's starting to look pretty grim for this image, right? Well, luckily there's like 10,000 of these kinds of sites. But typically between the two I've shown you and this third one here, I always find what I'm looking for. So we're gonna go to 10i.com. And 10i is what I used before Google implemented their reverse image search. So you click this here and you can upload the image and then you wait and once it finishes boom here we go we've got some results all right so if you're looking for something that's like a particular wallpaper you could sort your results here by biggest image and then start from there and you know if you're wanting to find like the artist of this picture then this is where you know a little bit of research well first of all let's just click open tab on the image and here's the image right sometimes that would just load the image and not the page so you could click the page here and kind of look around and see are there any sources and over here they have source listed so this atomics art on deviant art and now you've found the artist of the picture and then you've got other stuff that they've done or whatever and then other recommendations like from deviant art um, but yeah so that's essentially it that's the technique and you can do this with any wallpaper any image that you see online not just in videos but anywhere um, even if it's an image that you see and you're like, I want a higher resolution version of it, then you can try reverse image searching for that and see what you can find. So anyway, I hope you found that little tip helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up, share it with everyone else, anyone you think would care, and uh, go out there and find you some images. So thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Got a lot more videos coming down the pike. So I'll just see you guys soon. All right. Take care.